I'm trying to get every lasso achievement in the Master Chief Collection. And for my first one, let's go with the Halo I've personally played the most. Halo Reach is a prequel to the initial Halo trilogy, and is expertly crafted to fill you with a sense of hopelessness and dread as the human planet of Reach falls to the might of the Covenant. Feelings that I now know a little too well after playing the game on Lasso. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> for those unaware, Lasso is short for Legendary All Skulls On, and beating it requires you to complete a Halo campaign on the highest difficulty with modifiers that make everything substantially harder. This ends up turning even the easiest parts of Halo Reach into an absurd challenge, and the hardest parts into complete insanity, and that's why for this game, I decided to convince my friend Tanner to suffer through the journey with me. Using my top of the line negotiation skills of course. Neither of us have played Halo in years, but we thought we'd give it our best shot anyway. And after finally getting together, it was time for our first ever attempt at Halo Reach's hardest achievement. There was one thing that I didn't account for though. Both of us didn't look at any guides. And with Lasso, that was not about to go unpunished. Um, am I supposed to not have a gun? Uh, oh, it's invisible. I, oh, right. right. Fuck. Oh my <laughs> no, god. No, you can't I see our gun. Gun. <laughs> Now, this might sound crazy, but normally, you're supposed to have guns in Halo. The reason for this YouTube censorship version of the game is thanks to two of the ten skulls we're being forced to play with. The first of these is the Fog Skull, which completely disables the radar on your heads-up display. Usually, this isn't that bad to deal with, and it's honestly kind of a joke by itself. But the same can't be said about the Blind Skull, which steps it up a notch and removes everything from your heads-up display. So Notable things that are now absent include your health and shield bars, your ammo count, and of course, the markers that point you towards your objective. Something that would be very useful to two dudes who haven't played this campaign in a while, but I'm sure it'll be fine. By far the worst things to become invisible, however, are your weapon and your crosshair. And that's because immediately after starting mission one, you find out that seeing your gun is pretty integral to the whole experience. I got the first one. Got it. Literally perfect first shot. Fuck, wait, I had the wrong nailed gun it. out. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> I, I nailed, nailed it. Nailed it, dude. You're fine. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. We're gonna yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. Grenade. Easy first grenade. Okay, I'm dead again. Beam him down. Beam him down. Beam him down. Oh, <laughs> Please. Of action. No. no. Oh, he got both of us. <laughs> Lasso seems a little hard. Hmm. <laughs> Even though we were managing to get past the first few encounters, we still ended up dying a lot. Enemies in Halo are already bullet sponges on higher difficulties, and having no crosshair to line up your headshots made taking on grunts and jackals far worse than normal. But the real struggle during these fights came from all the skulls that made combat in Lasso very... asso. I, I know, I'm sorry. There are a grand total of five skulls that apply to the enemies in this game. Three of them are the Mythic, Thunderstorm, and Tilt skulls, which basically make every enemy a higher rank and gives them extra health and resistances. The other two are ones that affect enemy behavior. The Tough Luck skull causes enemies to be more aggressive, and the Catch skull causes them to throw even more grenades than usual, which, as you can assume, is not good. Um, my game lags. Oh, you're oh, no, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> These five modifiers make the Covenant way harder to kill. And for a while, we ended up spending a lot of time slowly chipping down enemies from afar until either we won or the more likely outcome occurred. Did I take the tilt skull into account? Well, I'm pretty tilted right now, so I guess so. All this adversity within the first few fights of the game taught us two important things, though. The first is that when things get hard, you need to be able to adapt, which in our case meant sticking ripped post-it notes to the middle of our monitors so we could actually see where we were goddamn shooting. And the second thing is that running away from your problems is surprisingly very effective. We quickly found out that a lot of the time, you don't actually have to clear out the enemies to continue. So whenever we could, we'd just run past everything. It did mean we left behind the civilians we were supposed to be protecting, but hey, I already know how the game ends and the civilians were probably cooked regardless. And I mean that in the literal sense, by the way. So through the power of cowardice and zero empathy, we were able to use our legs to sprint by everything thing and get past the first main section of the game. Yeah, yeah. Wow, holy, hey, we're pretty good at this hey. game. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. <laughs>
Halo Lasso, the game that plays itself. <laughs> it's, Very true. It's <laughs> this is so easy. Even though we were thrilled to have gotten farther, this excitement was unfortunately short-lived. In the next area, it turned out we were actually required to clear out the Covenant forces. And what made this fact even worse for us is that there were two skulls whose lingering effects were going to make the next few fights very difficult. The first of these is the Famine Skull, which makes any ammo pickups you find throughout the level give you far less bullets than normal. The other skull affecting us, however, is probably the one that most people consider to be the bane of their lasso existence. And that is the Black Eye Skull, where the only way to get your shields to recharge is by punching your enemies in the face. Bitch, no! <laughs> Uh, that might be a whoopsie on my part. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the struggle here is that you die pretty quickly when your shields are down, and running directly into enemy fire to heal is not exactly effective. I don't actually know. I, it says defend, so I'm assuming that they're just gonna like, you know, we have to okay. murder a whole bunch of them. Okay, well that's, don't, you know, don't a run. bunch of them is don't what I meant to say. Not, not just in general murder <laughs> happening. That's not gonna help. This meant unless we got a lucky hit in, we either had to play while one or two shots away from death or find one of the limited health packs available in the mission. The lack of health and ammo made the combat in the second main area feel impossible to us novice lasso players. Nothing we were doing seemed to work, a charged plasma shot wasn't even depleting an elite shield, it was all around a really bad time. So with us knowing that we needed something to change the tides here, we decided to explore. About an hour into the level, Tanner and I proceeded into the Wilderness of Reach, looking in every nook and cranny, searching for any lost treasures left behind to help us in our quest for imaginary gaming points. And what we found was nothing. We found nothing. This detour was a complete waste of time. But when we made our way back to the main objective, something incredible happened. Oh, what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> the... The Hornet got shot down. Can no I? Oh. No, no, no Hold way, on. dude. Hold on. Hold on. It just keeps Hold flipping. On. It does. <laughs> it I can't so... get it. Oh. No way. Fuck, how do I Sam, fly fly this thing? I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. Wait, we might have a chance. Ch wait, Tanner, get wait. back up the hill. I'm coming. Right now. I'm it playing the game, guys. We are <laughs> actually going to get through this. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it was a miracle. A gift from God had dropped from the sky and fallen right into our lap if God was Lockheed Martin or something. Wiping out all the enemies with a falcon turret was a breeze, and just when we thought Lasso was besting us, we had absolutely crushed the opposition. Objective yeah. complete! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, all yeah, we had to do is dude. very luckily find a falcon that just crashed for no reason. All we had to do now was fly over to the final area and finish the mission. We fly along the highway with the falcon. Normally, the falcon is not supposed to. Oh, we're supposed to falcon ride over to the. <laughs> this is the falcon that was supposed to pick us up and take us to the next. Oh, area. but it died. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. I'll chance your soft locks. Uh. <laughs> That's all no. good. Dude, if we soft lock ourselves after an hour, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. I'm gonna be tilted off of, I think, the face of the planet. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Is it just running us into a cliff and killing us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's... Uh -oh. Okay. Tanner. Oh. Are we... I think... No way. No way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way. During our first ever lasso experience, one and a half hours into mission one, Tanner and I were softlocked. We tried killing ourselves repeatedly, but weren't able to load an earlier checkpoint. We tried getting out of the Falcon, only to find out that we were literally stuck inside of it. We were fucked. There's one more skull affecting us that I've yet to talk about in this video, and that is the Iron Skull. In single player, dying with this skull activated means you have to restart the entire mission, which is really messed up by the way. But in co-op, it instead puts you back at the last checkpoint. Normally when you die in co-op, you'll respawn next to your teammate after a few seconds, and maybe there's a universe where if this skull didn't exist, one of us could find a way to die and untrap the other from the Falcon. That was not reality though. Reality was the worst case scenario, which was us having to restart the entire mission 80 minutes deep. I think we gotta run it back. Yep. I think we have to restart. Let's do it, dude. 
Okay. Well, <laughs> no pain, no gain, you know. All right. <laughs> well, all right, so we just started our Halo Lasso run. Whoa, so yeah. Shout out. Oh my god, I'm all so right. excited to do this. Surely nothing bad Man. will happen close to the Can't end of the level. Can't wait to start this. I am so. just I can't even feign excitement anymore. I'm just in a deep pit of depression at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, this was a bit of a tilter. Thankfully, I also had access to vehicles that wouldn't soft lock on me. And that's thanks to today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game on the planet, allowing you to take part in intense PvP battles alongside a massive community of over 70 million players. With biplanes and armored cars from the 1920s all the way to the fighter jets and battle tanks of today, War Thunder has over 2,500 vehicles from 10 different nations to choose from, making it the game to play for fans of military history. All the vehicles in War Thunder aren't just nice to look at either. Along with realistic graphics and authentic sound effects, every vehicle is modeled down to its individual components, allowing for not only in-depth customization options, but also a realistic damage system where every part of your vehicle is capable of being damaged or disabled by enemy fire. So if you'd like to join us on the battlefield, War Thunder is available for free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and you can play now using my link in the pinned comment and description. New and returning players that haven't played in 6 months will also receive a massive bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, an exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and 7 days of premium account. This is a limited time offer though, so make sure to get it fast. Thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, and now back to the beginning of Mission 1 again. Obviously, the entire situation sucked, but on a brighter note, we already had a pretty good idea of what to do and could likely get to where we were faster than before. That being said, we never actually ended up finding out how to do this mission optimally. So for more on that, I'm going to quickly pass the video over to Gamersnam. Gamersnam here. So funnily enough, even though the Falcon screwed me and Tanner over pretty badly, it turns out it's actually the best way to beat this mission on Lasso. I know! Fuck us, right? Let me explain. When you get to the part where you drop down towards the transport warthogs, if you wait until the falcon starts flying to the left, it'll despawn one of the characters inside of it. Him not being in there anymore allows us to affect the falcon now. So if you climb up this mountain, you can disable it with a plasma pistol and board it once it's flipped over. Now we're just in the position Tanner and I were in before, but the issue is that we got into the falcon really late, whereas if you fly to the encounter early, you can snugly fit your hornet between the cheeks of the enemy dropship and use it to clip through the invisible barrier. Then you just fly over to the final part, and since you're in the right place, the game will actually let you get out of the Falcon now. This would have been really good to know when I was actually doing the lasso run, but we're the idiots who decided to do it without a guide. So, thanks Gamersnam. Although we weren't able to do the mission the easy way, our second attempt at it was definitely better than our first. We still died a lot of course, but we didn't struggle nearly as much as before. A majority of our deaths this time came from either enemy clearance again, or from us trying to get an achievement for killing a hidden golden elite named Bob. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, no! All right, yeah, that's the opposite of what I asked. But after countless attempts and our brain cells slowly dying off one by one, things eventually ended up going well for us. Shoot, 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 shoot. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Back up if you're getting hit. Back up if you're getting hit. Back up if you're getting hit. Uh-oh. <laughs> no way! We can definitely do this. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Actually, that was pretty good. I'm hoping for the best, I'm hoping for the best, I'm hoping for the best. He, he armor locked, he's scared. What? <laughs> I got killed by the fucking grunt, stupid backpack exploding! <laughs> I am sick and tired of this fucking game. <laughs> keep shooting, keep shooting. He's down. Headshot, headshot! Let's yeah. fucking go! We're still not anywhere close to being done, but we'll take it. <laughs> oh my god, we're free. With that part complete, there was only one section left until the mission was done. And surprisingly, it turned out to be the easiest one of them all. After getting dropped off, we mainly hid indoors while our teammates took out most of the enemies. And once inside the compound, we didn't have too many issues aside from a super elite throwing absolute Cleveland steamers at us. Thus, in no time at all, well, actually, there was just one enemy left between us and finishing our very first mission. Yeah! Uh, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more! Back up, back up, back up! Nice! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Only took an hour and a half, then getting soft locks, and then taking yeah. another yeah. hour. <laughs> And so, our first lasso mission was in the books. It may have taken 26 deaths from me, 22 from Tanner, and two and a half hours over the course of two playthroughs, but it was done. 
Now it was time to do it all again in eight more missions, all of which are supposedly harder. And let me tell you, mission two comes out swinging. Eat my grenades. Oh my God, I cannot figure this out. <laughs> oh my God. Dude. No. Oh, where's our checkpoint? Uh, hit that. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> there were a lot of goofy moments to start off mission two. Elites were still trying out for the MLB. We started drifting in a forklift, died because we were drifting in a forklift. And then there was an elite who proceeded to steal our warthog and kill Tanner with it. I don't even know why either. Tanner was doing a great job dying by himself. Oh! <laughs> Wait, was that me or you? <laughs> okay, to be fair, I might have hit the grenade button. I don't know. Mm -hmm. If only we could know for sure how that could have possibly happened. <laughs> Once we turned our brains back on though, the first part wasn't that bad. Basically, we just stayed up on a walkway chipping everyone down while Kat took out most of the enemies. Then our new task was to drive by some million dollar Californian homes to activate a comms array and an AA gun. The issue, however, is that our objective markers were still gone thanks to the blind skull. So trying to figure out where exactly the buttons were took way longer than normal. Should be a reset control to get it online. Okay, hold on. Can I figure out where the reset control is? Uh, it's not on the first floor. Okay, I'm gonna make my way up. Elite's coming in. Yep. I see up. the gold elite. Whoa, who'd oh I get God, stuck by? Oh, there's the elite. Keep oh. running, just keep running. I'll block you. I'm body blocking I'm you. In. Body blocking I'm for in. you. Peppering. Okay. Peppering. Pepper, pepper, pepper. He's Switching. Got him. Yeah. Where is the fucking button? I thought it was up here. <laughs> is this the button? No, that's a dead guy. <laughs> to the he right? Where? What are you guys talking oh, about? God, I can't hear him. Oh my God. Like in there? I tried going in, oh, in there before and I don't see anything. Oh fuck. Never mind. the button wasn't here. Oh <laughs> Someone pointed God. it out. I'm so glad I'm fucking live streaming this. Oh my God. <laughs> it took everything in me not to aim our anti-air gun at the architectural firm that built this outpost, but I resisted. And after dying a lot to the vehicles outside the base, we were able to rush back into it and take shelter. But something I didn't realize until we got here is that on Lasso, hunters were going to be a whole different beast. Oh wow, that almost hit me. We're good. Oh. Whoa! Oh, come on! Be fucking dead, you bitch! <laughs> I'm shotgunning him straight ahead! No! We might want to save the grenade launcher for the hunter, actually. I don't know. Whatever actually, you think is best. No, that's probably... What the hell? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, do you think you'll get the par score? Um... You know? I think we have a good chance. I swear to God, these guys just don't die. We tried 1v1ing them with shotguns, only to be crushed harder than me at the end of the Iron Giant, and the strategy of gathering and throwing grenades didn't work either, even though the sheer quantity we found could have blown up Canada three times over. But there was one thing we hadn't tried yet. Wait, there's no way we can get the, in the car mm. in here, right? Fuck it, we try anyway. He can't succeed without trial and error. And we have errored a lot, so it's time for the trial part. Hoping for the best. <laughs> when you get the car, yeah. no <laughs> Someone told me how to do it. <laughs> I'm just unloading. Oh, one's, one's, dead. Dead. one's dead, one's dead, one's dead, one's dead, one's dead. I'm staying back. Go, I'm go, go. Back. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. No, the one's dead. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yes. There's still the elite, still the elite, still the elite. Elite, the elite. Everybody oh stay calm. <laughs> yup, 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 yup. Yup. Yes. Oh my yes. God, I feel so free. <laughs> Sneaking the warthog into the base had worked wonders. So we were done, right? Oh my God. Wait, this is the end of the mission, right, Chet? <laughs> last put. Don't say last push. <laughs> oh, we're not done. We were not done. Fighting through the base itself is objectively not that hard. But after spending the last four and a half hours dying and restarting, Tanner and I's brains were completely empty. It got to a point where we almost completely stopped talking to each other for a solid 10 minutes because we were just so depleted. But despite this, the end of the mission was still in reach. Halo reach. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. It's not here. Oh, oh, I got blown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude. We won, by the way. Come on, is that it? Did we do it? I think we did. Oh, yes. oh my Sam, god, we're go. fucking free. Let's go, dude. Two levels. Two. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs>
That was now two missions done, and with some good progress behind us, we decided to call it a day with Tanner up two missions to zero in terms of death count. Lasso was turning out to be pretty brutal, so for the next time, we made the hard decision that would suck up our pride and look at some guides to hopefully make the process go a bit more smoothly. The problem is that on the next day, neither of us actually ended up doing that. And unfortunately, this resulted in one of the most miserable gaming experiences I think I've ever had in my life. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> the third mission in the game is called Nightfall, and it's probably the easiest lasso mission in the entire game if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you'll end up like me and Tanner, which safe to say is not a good thing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> During the first half of the mission, you're basically gonna pull a Tony Snell and get a bunch of cardio in. And after avoiding some space yetis, we arrived at yet another outpost filled with Covenant. There was a massive cluster of powerful enemies here, so the plan was for me to find a way past everything while Tanner kept their attention trained on him. Something to note about this, however, is that only one of us actually knew this plan existed. Where am I? <laughs> the fuck is this thing? Crap, why does this exist? Doing okay over there, Tanner? Yeah, I'm just sniping some fools, you know, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. Trying to get all like the like non-elites dead, at least. Like the grunts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting some right now, and uh, it seems as though it's it's going really well. Why do I feel like you're not killing anything? How do I feel like you're you're saying you're killing stuff? Whoa, hold on, let's let's calm the fuck down with the accusations here. We're supposed to be teammates. <laughs> I just was like the tone of your voice, I feel like, I don't I know. I just talk like actually... this, okay? You're making fun of how I speak? Dude, that's kind of <laughs> fucked up. That's cyber. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wipe oh. out the rest of them. I'm, not, I'm still fine. I'm fine. Oh, wait, what the heck? <laughs> wait. <laughs> What just happened, dude? I think Where I found we? the right way. <laughs> Somehow, I managed to find a way to the next area. And even though I'd left Tanner out to dry for a solid five minutes, all's well that ends well, right? Okay, oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> Our teamwork was seemingly at its peak, and this carried over into the next area as well. The hardest part about this was honestly finding the button we were supposed to press without a marker helping us out. But eventually, we were able to do this too. Nope, oh, that's. What that's is this a, do? I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to like hit every single button I possibly can and <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> oh, wait, I did. Oh, clear six? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, he, yeah. He's. No, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we're sure. Hey, there's a plasma rifle or gun. Behind you! <laughs> <laughs> Do you need health? There's a med kit over here. I have one over here, so go ahead and okay, use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I already used one. That's why I was offering this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't otherwise. I'm incredibly greedy and narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> After taking out the elite general as well as all the other major enemies in the area, there was only one section left until the mission was complete. It was starting to look like we could actually get this level done in under an hour, which was amazing to two guys who had just exited the torture chamber that was the last two missions. But that dream of finishing a level in a reasonable amount of time was shot dead immediately because it turned out that this area was going to take twice as long as the rest of the mission combined. I got you, I got you. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, what? Last oh, team oh yeah, 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 I see, I see. It's, oh, no, I'm fucking dead. Oh, wait, what? How is that not a back shot, dude? I hate my life. <laughs> this was our purgatory for over an hour, and what makes it so hard is the sheer amount of enemies present. There's about a dozen elites here, as well as turrets that will not show any mercy once they have you in their sights. Okay, you don't need to shoot the body out there. <laughs> no matter what we did, nothing seemed to get us any further. We tried saying F it we ball and running past everything. And we tried wiping the Covenant out only to realize we were out of ammo and had to melee everyone. Yep, 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 yep. Just stay alive, just stay alive. Got I'm dead. No. I died. That's, that's, I'm so it, sorry. This, this could work. No, no, it's all good. All good. All good. It was insanity. But the reason why it took so long is that we couldn't trigger a checkpoint to save our lives. And trust me, a checkpoint would have very much saved our lives. Because no matter how much we pushed up or how many enemies we killed, a single death would wipe out all our progress. Did you notice that the My, music it, just kind of ran out? <laughs> <laughs> the enemies were taking too long. <laughs> Do you think we're going to beat Travers' score on the level? Even though it didn't seem like it was going to happen anytime soon, a checkpoint here was pretty much the key to beating the mission. We only needed one. So, for the rest of the mission, we tried to do exactly that. Okay, I got like one, that. actually, somehow. <laughs> I snuck up no on way. one and punched him. Okay, second one's coming up on us, on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper, 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 pepper. Nice, 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 nice. Keep peppering, keep peppering. Trying. 
Oh, pepper hoarder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Wait, we got him. <laughs> I got him, dude. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my okay. God. Okay, hold on. Wait, back up, back up. Maybe checkpoint, yeah, maybe checkpoint, up. maybe checkpoint. Oh, there's still someone in the fucking turret. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> wow, I was one shot? Oh, dude, where are we? Oh, the turret. Oh. <gasps> Where are oh? we? Oh, it's after we killed the big elite. Let's fucking go, dude. It's go, right after we killed dude. the big elite. After one of the most clutch games of Ring Around the Rosie ever played, we had gotten a checkpoint with two thirds of the total enemies wiped down, which meant we now had the confidence to sprint. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm How running. Feeling? I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm hoping I'm, the best. I'm, I'm not gonna move. I'm so yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, my yes, man. Oh, so busy. Oh, is that mission tie? Uh, we're not talking about it. We were finally done. And the last part of the mission had absolutely obliterated us. But the funniest part is that it's all completely skippable. I know. Take it away, gamer Snam. Thanks, dumbass Snam. Like past me mentioned, you don't even need to do the last part of the mission. Once you get to the giant outpost with the elite general, what you want to do instead of clearing out the enemies is to become forklift certified. Not only will this make you a chick magnet, or dude magnet depending on the person, but if you line up your forks with this part of the grate, you can actually glitch past the doors that lead into the final area. Since the game still thinks you're fighting the enemies in the last part, the ones that normally spawn here won't exist, which means you can just sprint over to the finish line without any opposition. It it's super easy, and watching it back honestly feels like that scene in Interstellar where Matthew McConaughey is banging on the glass and crying. I literally hate myself. Thanks, Gamer Snam. Despite us doing the mission in the hardest way possible, we did end up getting it done. And funnily enough, we both ended up dying 39 times each, resulting in a 2-0-1 lead for Tanner. This level had shaken our confidence significantly. Would we ever be able to complete a level without struggling? Could we at least finish a mission in under 90 minutes? Well, Mission 4 provided us with the answer to those questions. And the answer was no. And I, oh! Oh, 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 oh! This level starts you off in fucking Normandy, as you're immediately bombarded with plasma turrets before you even get boots on the ground. These things kill you instantly if a blast lands anywhere near you, and off rip, it looks like we weren't getting the par score for this mission either. Something we soon realized though is that we spawned with grenade launchers, which are pretty much nerf guns in terms of damage, but do have an EMP effect. And so, light bulbs in our heads, we used them to run past everything and got another check Point. But what we soon came to realize is that we needed to go back for the warthog. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh, See, he was, Jesus. He's creating cat, and then I got caught up. How's that shit? Oh my god, that's not close to me at all. <laughs> oh, the warthog dropped. Let's go, 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 there's no, no way. There's no way. <laughs> no, dude. I'm so sorry. God so dang it, dude. <laughs> Eventually, we were able to get the Warthog out of there. And although against most things, it turned out to be pretty ineffective on Lasso. Good shot. So we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> what it was effective against were the anti air turrets. Instead of having to go inside to destroy the core, the Warthog allowed us to bunker down and shoot at it from afar. This meant we could avoid all the enemies normally surrounding it. And after performing some parkour in the section after, where things got a little crazy occasionally, there's banshees. <laughs> oh, I just. Oh, I just blew up. All right. Oh, that Out was very nowhere. nice. Oh, we're right here. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Ew. That's clutch. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. We were able to do it again with a different warthog on another turret. So after wiping out the rest of the enemies, we boarded the falcon turret and proceeded into what is possibly the worst section of the entire mission. Oh, what? Oh, this is problematic. Dude, god damn it. I'm not dead. Nice. This is progress. Nice. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> this is so <laughs> fucked up. Whose idea was this? <laughs> In this turret section, you have to be perfect. It really comes down to completely memorizing all the enemy positions, but even then you can always get really unlucky with enemy awareness and just die anyway. We had thought that storming Normandy at the beginning was bad, but this was Normandy 2 and the sequel really amped up the death count from the original. Thus, we kinda kept dying for a while, but despite this, we knew we'd get it no matter how many times it took. Okay, I'm good. On my I side. I got it, I got it, I got it on my side. Tank's down on my side. Nice. Oh, careful of the lead. Oh. Okay, per progress. Progress. Oh, dude, my fucking finger hurts so bad. Dude. <laughs> it's <laughs> crying. I got carpal tunnel now, dude. Dude, my finger is on fire. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. All right, now what are we doing? Is that the hard part? Yeah, I hope so. That's the end of the game. We actually just beat the game. Oh, thank That's goodness. It. I don't want to play this yeah. anymore. Unfortunately, we still weren't done. The last thing we needed to do was ascend the spire and turn off the giant shield. But even though this wasn't supposed to be hard in theory, something started going very wrong with our games at this point. Where's my... Dude, what the heck is going on? I feel like I my kind of like lagging in a way. Weird. <laughs> it's probably because we've been doing this level for almost two hours. Yeah, it's kind of like my inputs are delayed or something. Get in there. Oh, I'm starting to. Oh, that was a little laggy. Uh oh. <laughs> we gotta get, get this there. fucking mission they done, Tanner. <laughs> yeah. The servers are breaking. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The Master Chief Collection, although way better than at launch, is a pretty buggy game. And in co-op, it turns out that if you start to take too long in certain levels, you start experiencing random lag spikes. I only got it a bit since I was hosting, but Tanner had it really bad. And what's worse is that if this continued, there was a chance that the game session would close completely, which would mean that after two hours, we would have to start the entire mission over. We were not about to go through that again and tried rushing to finish the level but the enemies in the spire definitely didn't make it easy. Basketball! Oh my god. Oh god! Tanner, I need you to hit him. No! <laughs> Figure it out, though. That was... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no. That was... This guy, this guy. That, that's... Okay. Well, hello there. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad. I, I just ran past him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm completely fucking out of it. This was not good. We just weren't able to clear out the enemies with the weapons we had, and the button that finished the mission couldn't be pressed until all the enemies were defeated. The clock was still ticking, and Tanner's lag was only getting worse. But that's when I had an idea. If all the conventional methods weren't working, then why not do something a little stupid? That's it. I'm going in. No way. I'm sick of this <laughs> shit. Get me yeah. in here, coach. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, what? Oh, wait, the sword guys are here. Yep. On me. Nice. Surely. 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 Okay, I killed one. Hold on, I'm coming to you. Coming to you. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. This is so beautiful. I got it. 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 I win this. 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 This is all you. All you. Fuck you. Bitch. Yes! yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh we're we're free! <laughs> oh, that feels good. Fuck that place. I must check the deaths. I had 98. <laughs> you had 121. <laughs> 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 Let's go, we won! <laughs> the worst mission thus far had come to an end after two and a half hours. And this time, I promise, we started looking at a guide after this. In fact, I performed PhD level research on just how to do mission five. Writing notes, finding out that both of our monitors had a crosshair function installed on them, and reading articles on how to flame Tanner in a more constructive manner. It was pretty thorough. So did this result in us having a better time in the fifth mission than we would have had otherwise? Perhaps. But it truly felt like I wrote my thesis at the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good because Jesus Christ, this mission was awful. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Holy oh, wow. shit. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Dude, that guy went three for three. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I'm making it out to be at first though. This mission begins with you storming a beach, which doesn't exactly bode well based on previous references I've made, but this one is actually pretty manageable. 
If you can swim, that is. If you can get to the other side of the platform before you drown, it allows you to take out the wraith here instantly, leaving you safe to wait in cover as your teammates wipe out the rest of the enemies. Then, after a short walk through the base, it's time to strap in and head on up to the final frontier. Which turns out to be really boring. Normally for this level, you fly around dogfighting in the non-Michael Vick way, taking out Covenant ships like you're in space Top Gun, but in Lasso, you die pretty fast. In my sights? Okay, I'm about to- ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, with that being the case, the best way to get through this level is by hiding behind the giant space station. This is the same space station that you're supposed to be protecting in the mission, but hey, I like to think we're just watching the flank that just so happens to have no enemies. It's not our fault they didn't end up on our side. Doing this and taking pot shots at the Covenant resulted in us only getting killed twice this entire section. But the drawback to this method is that it takes way longer than normal. In fact, it took us about 30 minutes of flying in circles when it's usually done in around 10 minutes on normal difficulty. Difficulty. But after all the other levels we went through, we were more than happy to wait. This then brings us to the last flying section of the mission, where if you quickly fly underneath the enemy carrier, you can take out a large portion of the enemy fleet before they're even able to take off. It gives you a huge advantage in the ensuing battle. And so, after wiping everyone out over 40 hard-fought minutes, we could finally move on to the second half of the level. Oh shit, okay, we're done with the space part. Dude, I thought this was gonna be like the actual worst part. Why was this? so easy <laughs> dude we're the best honestly i'm not trying to toot our own horns here but we're kind of the best um sam what sam uh <laughs> um sam what happened uh sam, it's sam, a funny story it starting game? why does it say starting game sam hey, uh, so my uh, game uh, had the very fun thing it does yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. where it crashed <laughs> Oh, we're right here. No way, dude. That's I crazy. I All right. don't know. I guess we'll see if uh, we have to restart the entire thing or we get the checkpoint. Please, 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 God. Please, please, Master Chief. That's tough. <laughs> uh, Wait, unless. Uh, unless. Uh, opium? All right. Yeah, uh, fucks. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> God fucking damn it. Somehow we had to start another lasso mission completely from scratch. What were the odds of this happening even once, let alone twice? To us, probably pretty high based on our track record, but, but that's besides the point. Despite the circumstances, we at least knew the beginning of this mission wasn't going to give us a headache. And so we proceeded to fly in circles again for half an hour and slowly worked our way back to the carrier. You know what's so funny today? I was at work, I was like chilling. I was like, oh God, we gotta do Halo last Saturday. <laughs> it, like, it actually like hit me, I was like, oh God. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. Yeah, it, it did it to me too. I'm just like, I'm fucking playing like start. What? <laughs> You're talking about, wait, what hit you? Well, <laughs> other than that. A bit later, with some more deaths under our belt, we were back to the halfway point of the mission. Fortunately, the game decided to work this time too, and we managed to breach the enemy carrier after a few unlucky run ins with the local elites. This is where the level starts to get a bit tricky though. That's all good. And then we go. Ball. We don't ball. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? In this absolutely massive room, there is a metric shit ton, or for my American viewers out there, 2,204 dick pounds of enemies here. Most of them aren't a big deal by themselves, but all of them pushing you while you get blasted by a beam rifle elite makes generally existing in the room very difficult. We tried a lot of things to even just enter without instantly dying. We pushed a box to use as cover. On your right, on your right. Okay, I'm fine. I got him. Never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> he can still hit me. <laughs> we tried simply running as fast as we could, and we tried coordinating a bubble shield drop. Let me see if we can put your bubble, our bubble okay. in. Hold on, hold on. Should have it. I don't have it yet. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this man is very lucky I studied constructive flaming earlier. In reality, the only way we could enter was if we got pretty lucky, and after an absurd amount of almost instantaneous deaths, that's exactly what happened. We knew we had to make the most of this rare opportunity, so when there were only two elites left, it was time to focus. That's right, you're right. Yep, yep. Oh, 
fuck. There's one to the left. <laughs> oh, this is just <laughs> more. He's on your ass. I know, I know. I can't come really come do come anything come right now, though. On, Can you shoot on. at him, like, once and just get... Oh, 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 you're the Grizz. Oh, hold they're on, pushing. This is good. Six. Oh, wait, wait, this is good. This is good. Please don't attack. Oh, yes! yes! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so uh, clutch. I didn't even think about the bubble shield. That was so big brain, Sandy. Dude. We had played that perfectly, and our teamwork was at its peak. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> Did you throw a grenade? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. That wasn't. Uh, that was no. Can right. it be careful? There's like a sword elite around here somewhere. Oh, oh, I think he got you. Yeah, you. S oh yeah. But teamwork was going to be incredibly necessary for the next room, which I personally think is the hardest part of the entire mission. Where's he at? Right oh, oh, <laughs> all right, he turned his attention really fast. <laughs> the reason why it's so difficult is the absolutely stacked amount of high level enemies present. You've got elite generals, sword elites, invisible elites with swords. Oh, oh, help me, help me, oh. help me. <laughs> oh, dude, that scared the crap out of me. And taking them all out at once was a nightmare. The one saving grace here is that you can enter the room stealthily and take out a good portion of the enemies without alerting anyone. There always seemed to be at least one guy who would spot us through some magic psychic medium powers and completely screw us over. So we'd just go through the motions over and over and over and over and over and Dover and Dover and Dover. But the more we did it, the more we became in sync. I was like Justin Timberlake and Tanner was like another member of the band in sync. So we just kept inching closer to taking out most of the enemies. And after 45 minutes of doing the same exact thing, our practice finally paid off. Okay, wait. Okay. You're broken. You're broken. Dead. Yes. 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 Yes, let's go, Sam! Okay. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I missed a point. <laughs> yes. One more section separated us from this absolute slog of a mission. It was time to return to the massive room from before and clear out the last of the Covenant. But just like with our previous experience, it would end up taking a pretty long time. Oh, no! Ah, that's my bad. Just, oh, we got this. That's fine. I didn't realize there was no... Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I totally saw that. There's another shield over here if you want it to, by the way. We have double shields or double. Oh, you're stuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Something to note here is that there's actually a cheese strat that makes life way easier, and it involves you finding a spot on the pelican where you can enter its turret and mow down the enemies. Tanner and I, however, are achievement hunters, which meant that finding the G spot proved to be an impossible task for us. Regardless, holding out here wasn't much harder than most of the sections we'd already completed. And after the last enemy was taken down, three miracles happened. The first is that we'd finally completed the level after over three hours of total time. Thank Christ. The second is that Tanner somehow died less than me even though it seems like this mission was his reverse hunting grounds. And then came the final and possibly least believable of all three. Oh wait, I got an issue. Let me check it. Ooh, me too. Beat the I the <laughs> Let's go. We're the Wait, greatest we lasso this... players to exist. We beat the score? Fuck Wait. you, Tavers. <laughs> yeah, suck it, Tavers. Don't ask. I don't know either. How? <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, yes. If we count the time lost to the crash, this was the longest and most mind-numbing mission in the entire game. But we still had four missions to go until we were done. And if you thought this mission was bad, you'd be correct in your assessment. Because the next couple of missions are where the studying really started to pay off. The next two missions put us right in the heart of one of Reach's biggest cities. And immediately after arriving, we could tell that things were looking pretty bleak. You know, this looks a little problematic. Honestly, yeah, I don't like those big giant alien spaceships in the background. Oh, I was talking about the air pollution. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Stupid, dude. What wasn't bleak, though, was our combat ability. This is when the game switches out a lot of the usual elites for brutes, and they are far easier to deal with. Three shots from a needle rifle, a few well-placed headshots, and honestly everything in between is enough to take these guys down, which allowed Tanner and I to get through the first part of the mission with barely any deaths. Emphasis on barely, though. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. What? Okay, that was not even close to me. This then leads us to the main star of the mission, 
the jetpack. And there's a lot you can do with it to completely bypass large chunks of the level. If you go down here instead of following the Marines upwards, you can jetpack up to this metal structure and then jetpack again to skip over a ton of enemies. This method is a super consistent way to make the mission go way faster. That is, unless you happen to be Tanner. There are definitely enemies standing right there. You got Ready? Oh. Oh. I'm getting shot. <laughs> After some baby steps and professional coaching from yours truly, we both made it up. And now, it's time to do another cool jetpack skip. By using a rail at the bottom of the skyscraper and boosting to the first lip near the top, you can then boost up again to get to the penultimate area of the level. Clearing out this room was trivial thanks to all the ammo and rockets we saved from skipping the other encounter. And after a falcon ride that thankfully wasn't reminiscent of the last two we had, we could move on to the final area of the mission. Well, I'll help What's that off. button do? I don't know, let's press it. Uh, you, it's summon a brute. <laughs> Your objective here is to activate two batteries before pressing the button we just died at. There were chieftains with power weapons, wraiths constantly raining hell on us, and the usual self-inflicted wound. I'm helping. Um, <laughs> you know, that was the opposite of helping, I would imagine. <laughs> it was tough trying to deal with everything at once, at least initially. But once we realized the race weren't as invincible as we thought they were, getting to the end of the mission was simple, and it resulted in one of our lowest death totals up to this point. Now, not only was I stoked about taking the lead in the death competition, but also excited about the next level too, because it's without a doubt the easiest one in the game by a large margin. This mission has you fly around in a falcon to disable three jammers, and although you might get shot down by a banshee occasionally, completing these objectives might honestly be a little too easy. Okay, that's not oh, we have to press the button. Oh, it's time oh, to go. Yeah, you know, that would have been a smart idea. It's <laughs> a idea. Yeah, you punch that bug right in the face. Go, go, go. Okay, that was really fucking easy. <laughs> Wait yeah. a second. Yeah, we, we have to suck more, dude. I know, what the hell? How, you gotta throw, start throwing for content. I know, dude. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, oh my god, so, this game's so difficult. Oh, oh, oh no. darn it. Oh, no. Bubble <laughs> oh. shield, don't worry. That's what we have it for. Oh, no. Oh, god. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. My bad. <laughs> One of the objectives is in a business tower, and as you saw, you just have to run in and out to be done with it. But the second one is even less dangerous if you know what to do. If you fly over to the hospital and hit a switch, then fly over to the top of the nightclub building and hit another switch, something interesting happens when you head inside to disable the jammer. So all the enemies in here are dancing and not doing shit. Dude, that's awesome. So they don't even try to kill you? Nope, nope, they're, they have dance fever. It's really bad, like terminal. This then leaves us with one last jammer to disable, and unfortunately, it's gonna be a bit more involved than the last two. You'll have to fight your way down to the main floor of the hospital and take out the brutes protecting it. After that's done, what's usually supposed to happen is that the hospital fills up with even more powerful enemies and you're required to fight your way back up to the top. But before disabling the jammer, I came up with an idea. Since we're playing in co-op, why not get to the top of the building before turning off the jammer? All right, here we go. I'm pressing it now. It's been pressed. Maybe I can trigger a check, like a, a loading zone. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll... I think like, oh. oh, oh, I just, oh, right here. Let's go! Oh <laughs> my god, you just spoke into existence. Wait, go, 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 go! Oh. <laughs> this stroke of genius had prevented us from having a stroke attempting to ascend the hospital. And after a defense section that barely lasted over a minute, something that I'm very familiar with myself, another mission was done after not struggling much at all. Let's go! Oh, yeah. We did it! Uh, uh, yes, oh my dude. god, we finished two lasso missions in a reasonable time frame! Oh my god, we're getting better at this game! Most importantly, we have to figure out yeah. who died oh, most. Yeah. I died 13 times. That's pretty low for a fucking lasso level. And you died 14! Let's go! <laughs> we were starting to blaze through these missions, but mission 8 was honestly the one I was worried about the most. The package can be split into three distinct parts. Outside the base, the base, and the base mint. And we'll need to get through all of them in order to do one thing. Wait, isn't this the level that we played before? Wait, uh, yeah, we but we're, we're going back because we got to rescue Halsey. Right. The singer. The singer. Songwriter. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> the initial encounter is filled with ghosts and fuel rod wielding enemies, but completing this leads you into the tank section, and there's a strategy here that makes it almost impossible to die while driving it. Enemies apparently only start attacking you if your character model is in their line of sight, and your character is located in the middle of the tank, which means that if you stick your tank ass out without exposing your main body, you can not only keep anonymous on tank-only fans, but also take out everything 
without being touched. This made the entire tank section a breeze, and once again, our greatest enemy in parts like this turned out to be ourselves. I won't legitimize this lasso unless you shoot Tanner with the tank. Well, <laughs> well, just wait till the checkpoint. You know, you can shoot me with the tank. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it, though. But do it. <laughs> Tanner, I have a question for you. It is a very simple question, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> heads uh -huh. or tails? Heads or tails? Uh, heads. Please, 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 Careful not to get. Oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah, that's what? Oh, oh my god. All right, well, I was gonna say not to get too close, but yeah, I gotta follow my own advice there, apparently. <laughs> With him defeated, though, we moved on to the final area, and it was the one that I was the most nervous about the entire time. It's basically one giant defense section where you'll hold out against almost every enemy in the book, and on my solo legendary playthrough, this part had obliterated me. The thing is, I had done that before recently researching how to do this part effectively, and my god does knowledge make this part way easier. For the most part, anyway. Get him, get him, get him, get him. No. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> the first thing you want to do after you enter is grab a jetpack, boost onto a metal structure, and hijack a banshee. The banshee allows you to fly high enough to not get shot and rain hell from above. But it does have some drawbacks that don't make it the best option. Yeah, just be careful not to get uh, too uh, close to the ground. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm not okay. Yeah. I'm not okay. I'm flipping up. I'm stuck and I exploded. Okay. So they can shoot you down the sky. Yep, yep. That's why once the wraith gets dropped near the back, you're gonna wanna hijack that instead, since it's far more effective at wiping out the Covenant outside their range. By doing this and hiding behind a mountain when the phantoms show up, we beat this mission in no time and turned what would otherwise be the hardest part of the game into an absolute joke. All right, time to reveal the scores though. I have died 12 oh, yeah. times. And you have died. <laughs> wait a minute. I, wait, 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 wait. You died 12 times, but you killed me. You killed me! <laughs> Once. Once. The end result was me taking a 4-3-1 lead in the death competition. My first during the entire lasso run. And with mission 8 done, we were now on to the final mission. I wasn't about to let my comeback be ruined right at the end, and I'm sure Tanner didn't want to be the big loser either. Thankfully though, I had concocted a plan to be used for this very occasion. All right, you want an achievement? <laughs> All you gotta do is assassinate an enemy in order to break your fall. Really? Yeah. So you see that elite down there? You just need to jump over to him and assassinate him. I don't believe you. Trust, you can look it up. Wait, is this for real? I told you it was! Oh my god, I should never have doubted you. Hey, get his ass, Tanner. All right, all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 he had bought it hook, line, and sinker, and for the next 10 minutes, I witnessed Tanner rack up his death count to unspeakable levels. It was the perfect crime, and it would have stayed that way until I thought it looked pretty fun and joined in too. What might have been intentionally left out though is that this achievement is not in the Master Chief Collection. It's only on the 360 version of Halo Reach. So when Tanner finally got the assassination only to find out this fun fact, he didn't take it very well. I, I, I felt I felt the passion and emotion in that in that hit right there. Now, with a pretty solid lead, it was time to actually tackle the final mission. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take out this elite for its concussion rifle. If it has at least seven shots in it, it'll allow you to do some pretty insane skips. So we grabbed that and proceeded through the mission. I gave Tanner a romantic mongoose ride so he could forgive me for our fight earlier, and then we parkoured on a few rooftops until eventually we reached the first trick of the level. This skip has you fire two concussion shots to reach a higher point on the wall before eventually dropping down on the other side. What this does is bypasses a trigger that spawns in enemies in the following cave. The problem, however, is that I knew the jump existed, but didn't ever actually practice it. So my attempts at doing this went just about as well as you'd expect. And here we have a wild sandwiches trying to climb a rock. 
That didn't work. <laughs> and he decides... How the fuck, fuck do you do that? <laughs> After many, many unsuccessful attempts, we decided to just ignore the skips that had to do with explosives. But what this also meant was that we were going to have to get through the next few areas by running. And they were very hard. All right, ready? Go. I'm right behind you. Slowly. Yeah, I'm slowly right behind you. Oh, my... Oh my god. Oh, oh, all right. oh, I guess I'm man. taking the yell on that one. <laughs> it was honestly a pretty miserable time for a while, and the amount of deaths between us went up staggeringly. But the great part about the area after is that the skip here doesn't involve explosives. While Tanner distracted the enemies, I rushed to the other side of the room to hop on some pipes in an abstinent way. Successfully doing so allows you to access the catwalk above, and if you do a massive jump at the end of it, you can skip a trigger that spawns in hunters. Considering our hunter struggle in the second mission, this this was absolutely huge for us, but Tanner wasn't able to do the jumps required, and him proceeding on foot meant that I might spawn next to him along with the hunters, which meant that in order to avoid them for good, I'd have to do the entire next area myself. I, you know what it is? I feel like I'm in Halo timeout right now. I'm just gonna sit in the corner. <laughs> I think you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, how much fucking shield does he have? <laughs> oh, wait, Dude. I see it now. Hold on. I'm copiuming really hard right now, but... No! <laughs> Initially, this looked pretty grim, but for the past few missions, I apparently had gotten pretty good at Halo. Rarely missing shots, tactically moving through cover, and my blatant dumbassery really only came at the cost of Tanner's life now rather than my own. I was gaming, so in barely any attempts at all, Tanner and I were reunited. Yes! All right. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can spawn you. I just need to pick stuff up now. Yeah, we did it. We I'm actually no did time it. Out anymore. Oh, Hell yeah. Should. Oh, okay. All you. This is all you. That's all you. That's all you. That's all you. I want to go back to time out. <laughs> After clearing out some more enemies, one more section separated us from completing the very last mission on Lasso. The final area has you hold out against waves upon waves of brutes with very little ammo to fall back on. Then you'll have to fight against three elite generals simultaneously while all also needing to hit a railgun shot at the end of it. This could mostly be bypassed by another concussion skip, but as we all know, I apparently have a concussion. Well, shit, so much for this skip. <laughs> Thus, we were gonna have to do things the old fashioned way, but if we somehow pulled this off, Lasso was ours for the taking. I'm dead. <laughs> no, I'm dead too. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, someone's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah! Fuck that guy! <laughs> oh, there's another fucking fuel rod guy! <laughs> yep. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I got back kicks. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> yes! Wait, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Uh... Oh, very true. <laughs> the only thing stopping us now was a single railgun shot, and the best way to do it was by waiting until the carrier exposes itself to even enter the cannon. And so, lasso on the line, we did just that. Bubble! I don't think it reached you, I'm gonna be it's honest. Fine. All right, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> but we couldn't get it to work. The moment we got in the cannon, the phantoms would just splooge their load at us and would get destroyed before we were even able to do anything. We were at a loss, but that was the quitter in us thinking. Over the course of this playthrough, we had gone from getting annihilated by the first group of enemies to beating the hell that was the last section without having to rely on skips or even ammo for the last bit of it. That probably meant we were good enough to beat this without any tricks too. And you know what? That is exactly what happened. Yeah. I think we got it! Oh. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, we didn't need any strategies at all. We were just as good as us, you know? <laughs> Teamwork. Hey, what's that? Oh my God. It's like some sort of ring, uh, a, uh, a circle, like mm. a... Uh, what's it? What is what are we looking for? What, what's the word? Hula hoop. That's ah, a good one. A hula hoop. A space hula hoop, dude. That's crazy. Of course, that's what that is. I think that's the one that Galactus uses when he fights the Fantastic Four. Well, he says hula hoop him while killing the yeah, Fantastic yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got to have a hobby, you know? He can't just be eating planets all the time. Let's go! Okay. Uh, I died 63 times. Yep, oh understandably. And then you what? died 61 times. Yeah! Tough. 
We take those. Even though Tanner had literally inted at the beginning, the death race still somehow ended in a fucking tie. But I didn't care, because after also inting on the bonus chapter, I had completed my first ever lasso in the Master Chief collection. Oh, let's go! <laughs> this was honestly super fucking fun, and I hope it we can was. do something again in the future too. Definitely. You were 100%. my goaded co-op partner, even though I made you try to assassinate an elite for 13 minutes. <laughs> that was, dude, I'm just thinking back to all the things we got stuck on. We actually get it, dude. <laughs> With this done, it means there are still five left to go until every lasso is complete. So if you want to witness those as they come out, then make sure to subscribe, and in the meantime, remember to check out War Thunder. It's completely free to play on console and PC, and if you use my link in the description or pinned comment, you and returning players will receive a large bonus pack, including everything you see here on screen. Thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring and supporting my insane endeavors. I'll also be streaming every lasso live over on Twitch, so follow me there as well to watch me sink into an ocean of sadness in real time. Don't forget to check in on Tanner too to make sure he's doing okay after this, and with that, I'll see you all in the next one.